Prince Harry reportedly won't be allowed to wear military uniform during events marking the Queen's passing in London this week, despite an exception being made for disgraced royal Prince Andrew, who was stripped of his titles, a decision is announced by King Charles II Monday. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle will be attending Queen Elizabeth II's morning ceremonies as part of the royal family in the coming days but in royal protocol will not allow him to dress in military uniform to pay his respects to his late grandmother. A decision is announced regarding what members of the royal family will wear to Queen Elizabeth's state funeral at Westminster Abbey on 19 September. Buckingham Palace confirmed, only working members of the British royal family will be allowed to wear military uniform during the state funeral and processions for the late Queen Elizabeth II. So, Prince Harry, who no longer perform senior royal duties, and Prince Andrew, will not wear uniforms in which they have previously been seen at a string of events. The news comes as a blow to the Duke of Sussex, who served in the British Army for 10 years before stepping down as a senior royal. While King Charles III, Prince William, Princess Anne and Prince Edward are expected to step out in traditional regalia for the morning events. The Queen's three other children will wear their military finery for the service of Thanksgiving at Street. Giles Cathedral in Edinburgh, Scotland on Monday. Other formal events marking Her Majesty's passing are the service of Thanksgiving at St. Giles Cathedral in Edinburgh, the procession, prayer service, vigil and state funeral for the late monarch at Westminster Abbey in London on the 19th of September, followed by a committal service at Street. George's Chapel at Windsor Castle, where she'll be laid to rest. The decision on uniforms differs from Prince Philip's funeral at Windsor Castle in April 2021, when Buckingham Palace announced that no senior royal family members would wear traditional military uniforms. However, Queen Elizabeth's funeral will differ from her husband's as Philip's service was scaled back to a ceremonial royal funeral, not a state funeral due to COVID-19 concerns. During Prince Philip's funeral last year, she said, Queen Elizabeth II decided that everyone should wear suits, so everyone was on a level playing field. Prince Harry stepped back from his senior royal duties in 2020 before moving to California with his wife Meghan Marco. Before, Prince Harry served in the army for 10 years rising to the rank of captain and undertaking two tours of Afghanistan. He had three honorary military titles Captain General of the Royal Marines, Honorary Air Commandant of RAF Huntington and Commodore-in-Chief, Small Ships and Diving, Royal Naval Command. New York Times writer Omid Scobie has reported in a post on Twitter that unlike Prince Andrew, Prince Harry will not be allowed to wear uniform at the final vigil in Westminster Hall. He said this would be a huge blow for the Duke of Sussex, who served for 10 years and this morning spoke of the Queen being his commander-in-chief. The decision on Harry's morning ceremony dress code could have been made by King Charles III, the Lord Chamberlain's office, Queen Elizabeth II before her passing, or a combination of people. The decision also comes after the Duke dropped his prior engagements Thursday to fly to Scotland to be with brother Prince William father King Charles, and the Queen during her final hours. While his wife, Duchess Meghan, stayed back in England at the time, she made the decision to pause the release of her next archetyped podcast episodes during the period of mourning for the Queen, out of respect for the late monarch and the family. Meanwhile, Prince Andrew spent 22 years in the Royal Navy, serving as a helicopter pilot in the Falklands War in 1982. He was stripped of his military titles and royal patronages in January 2022, following controversy over his former friendship with billionaire Jeffrey Epstein. In a statement at the time, Buckingham Palace said, with the Queen's approval and agreement, the Duke of York's military affiliations and royal patronages have been returned to the Queen. However, he was granted an exception and will be wearing his uniform at the final vigil where the Queen's four children will be standing at the four sides of her coffin. And the move is a mark of respect to the Queen. 
Thank you for watching our latest video about the royal family. We always try to regularly update the latest news videos about the British royal family to meet your requirements. Our channel always has an objective, multi-dimensional view of the news. My main goal is just to entertain people. Hope you enjoy this news. If you have any questions or requests about content to watch, please leave a comment below this video of us.